leadoff guy, why would you kind of assess the Monty Larry play today? Pretty impressive. Uh, first day out there, and, and uh, I don't even realize it at the end of the game that he, he never got out and uh, made a couple nice plays. Uh, he's a really good player, so uh, we knew that coming in. It just usually takes him a little bit of time to get acclimated. And it didn't take him any time at all. Bryce Chance is a guy that's flashed in the fall and in the spring, too. I mean, it's one of those deals where he just earned his way into the lineup. I mean, what do you think of how he attacked today and um, the day that he had at the plate? He's been playing like that every day in our scrimmages. I mean, it's no different. Um, it's a special kid. I mean, he's he not real big. Probably he's not my fastest thrower or runner. Um, but he really hits, and he loves the game of baseball. And, and he is uh, – it's a real fun story with him because he, he puts his heart and soul into it. I redshirted him last year, and, um, you know, he attacked some of his weaknesses. But he's a really good player. I mean, that, the, those swings – I mean, he's hitting those balls into the wind in that right center field gap and, and hitting balls out of the ballpark. You talked about staying to the middle of the field a lot last year. You saw a lot of hits to center today. Was that impressive and important to see early on? I think so. I, I, our offense has been really good the last couple of weeks. You know, uh, I knew we were good. You're hoping it's not, you know, when you're coaching in spring training, it's, you know, if you're hitting really good and you're worried about your pitching and vice versa. So, uh, but I knew we, we can just do a lot of things offensively. And I think they're pretty pure hitters. It's not, a, you know, trying to pull everything and, and just trying to stay on some baseballs. What did you think of, of Cade's outing today, and, and was was that kind of where you wanted him with the pitch count? With that being the first season, first game of the season? Yeah, even on maybe some other years. Well, I, I take that back. I feel like it's cold every opening day, but you know, it's it's the weather too. Like the weather is, you know, um, he was fringy pitch count, cold weather. We had a couple long innings. I just it's a long season. Um, you know, we had put him we we had put him down as the, uh, you know. The guy for us, we knew he was coming out after so many pitches. So um, we just, you know, being cold made that decision really easy. It's not often you see a true freshman in the, in the three hole, but Cousin Jordan had a few walks today and legged out a infield single. I guess, what are your thoughts on him as a player just you know, throughout the, the spring and what do you think he can bring to the table the rest of the season? Well, he earned the opportunity to start, earned the opportunity to play center, earned the opportunity to bat in the three hole. Um, I, I joked with him a little while ago that, you know, it's. He had one hole his first at bat. He didn't breathe, you know. Like, so it's, you know, it's just be, you're a freshman and, and you're new here, and it's big, and it's, you know, I, I thought you saw him settle down as the game went on, have some good at bats. Um, he's gonna get a lot of big hits for us, and uh, he'll be right out there in the three hole tomorrow. You know, it's just he's so talented, and it's it's a really good player. Fifth inning, they scored a couple runs, tightened the game up on you a little bit. You went to the hit and run there, really back to back and back and bats there. What made that feel like the right opportunity, and how big is Luke Hancock in those situations? Um, they weren't hit and runs, so they were probably runs and hits uh, because we were just stealing. We just felt like we were stealing there, and uh, those guys just put good swings on balls. So, um, but we're real athletic, so I think we can really move. Um, you know, we really debated. You know, our lineup. Luke's been in the, you know, the four hole maybe for a couple of years, and he comes out and sees the lineup card today. And I spoke to him. I just felt like. Being able to put him in that spot, it just you know the six and seven spot, a lot of things come up. Even tonight, Kellum had a couple big spots. Um, having him there, that's that's going to make our lineup really tough. And uh, he put some really good swings on balls. Everybody that you situation in the middle of the game, uh, bases loaded, no outs. I mean, uh, you, you bring in Nate Dome and he gets you a lot of the inning. Uh, and Lane turns a double play. I guess what are your kind of thoughts on Nate Dome and you know with Lane, you know turning a couple double plays today. I was happy to see Nate's pitch really good, has really good stuff. But once again, I put him in, you know, reminds me of putting in Landon Sims against Texas a couple of years ago on opening day. You know, like you're just, you're putting him in some tough spots. And I, I was really pleased. And um, I don't want to call it, but I, I just told him, Nate, just throw a strike. They're going to hit it to Lane. He's going to get you out of the inning. And so they, all the kids ran off it like I was a, I had a crystal ball. But I just, I wanted Lane, just, I mean, I wanted Dome just to throw one in there. You know, if they hit it to Lane, he's usually picking that ball. So, um, but Dome was really good. Everybody you threw out there out of the bullpen was newcomers, guys that we haven't seen. And um, you got a lot of those guys, frankly, in the pitching staff. I mean, how'd you feel like they handled their first game and, and coming out there in that situation? I, I thought they were all great. E even even Graham, you know, like, you know, his was, you know, some really perfectly placed bunts. Um, really the only one that we probably have a chance to make is that ball in the, in the middle there. And then they flare the ball over the infield. Um, but I thought our guys were great. I mean, 
mean, I just, you know, as, as that lead expanded, I just wanted some guys to get their feet wet out there on the mound. And so, uh, you know, Tyson there late, Logan Forsythe late. I mean, those guys can really help us. I mean, those are some power arms. It, not a lot of power out there in the cold tonight. Nobody's throwing super hard because of the, the weather, but those guys are, are, are pretty good. What are you expecting from KC tomorrow? He gets a chance to start again. Just a quality start, you know, just to get out there and compete. And, and these guys are they're competitive. I mean, you're going to play BMI. They they were they had some older hitters in that lineup and some guys that that made you fight. I thought they made Cade really work early. You know, there were some long at bats in there, and um, then when they got the bunting game and the running game, you know, I think that was a big difference too.